Alright, so I've had quite a few questions lately regarding my Optiplex GX620. This is a Optiplex 745. And for all intent purposes, they are almost identical inside. There are some obvious differences. So, one thing I'm going to do is, this is a Core 2 Quad. This can be picked up on eBay. Currently, I just looked right before I turned on the camera. For anywhere from $22 to $50. And, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this one into the uh, budget build system that that gateway was supposed to be. I feel like this is a better use of those resources. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, processor in. Now, with, court, with, with the GX620, it's the same exact, same exact process. Now, one thing I have to say, and I, and I, I can't stress this enough, if you're going to do a, a project, um, research. Research will be your friend. Dell happens to have a uh, forum on their support site where you ask what processor fits in my machine. And they tell you. And in this case, somebody had already asked. So, what I'm going to do is loosen that up. This uh, is a Core 2 Duo that's in here currently. Luckily, the previous owner of this machine is very meticulous. He uh, cleans everything. The uh, heat sink's actually not in bad shape. I wish I had some alcohol. I don't think I have any in here. So we're going to find out if this stock heat sink will actually uh, support a Core 2 Quad. Because honestly, I have no idea. And... You know what, I had planned on doing a, uh, what's that, the Windows uh, user experience thing, before and after, and you know what, it's, I'm too far gone for that now. I don't recall the exact Core 2 Duo that this is, I think it's a 2.66. Now, if you remember me mentioning that HP um, that I have... This, pr the processor that just came out of here, is going to go in that. Now, there's two notches on the processor. You want to line them up with the notches on that. That is provided that you're working on a socket 775 machine. Now, this is where things will get controversial. Controversial. Controversy. Um, oh shoot, please tell me I actually have enough in here. There's a lot of different ways to do this. I'm going to do it the way that works best for me. Oh, man. I do not have enough for this. We're not going to run this very long, <laughs> but I wanted to show a process, and uh, and I have shown the process that I wished to have shown. Um, yeah, so this is going to be coming back apart very, very quickly. We're not even going to boot into Windows. Man. I really don't think it would be that big of a deal. I mean, it'll just shut down, if anything. Alright. So I'm going to take you off the tripod for a moment, and then I'm also going to do something else. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it on. 
And I'm going to... Oh wait, it's F2. Well, it obviously is solid. So now we have a Core 2 quad running at 2.4 gigahertz. And, uh... And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shut this down real quick. And then I'm going to do another quick test for you guys. And, uh... We may call it a video after that. So give me one moment. I'm going to set the tripod back up because I'm going to show the other thing which is down here. And I also have to turn the flash back on. So just give me one minute. Now I have memory coming from eBay. But since I'm here and they fell out. I have these here. Currently this has 2 gigs of RAM. And those are two gig sticks each. Now with these Optiplexes, this little blue thing which is just off the camera. Right here, just pull that up and just slide the CD. And it's going to make me look like an idiot. So slide the CD out or drive out. Now I'm actually disconnecting it for another reason, which I'll show you momentarily. But in here. I have two more RAM slots. We'll make sure they're open. And they are. And, oh, you know what? I probably should have told you to unplug the machine first. Now, what I'm going to do real quick. Is you're not gonna be able to see it on camera. I'm trying to not have see that's what I wanted to hear. Actually that's not what I wanted to hear. Let's make sure these are well seated. Try taking the old ones out. Maybe they're not compatible with each other. Now, this time it boots. And it's showing 4 gigs at 800 megahertz. Now, I'm going to put, I've had problems with this particular stick in the past, so let's see, it just happens to be test memory, which if you've had problems, it's probably not a good idea to use test memory. <laughs> And now we're showing 6 gigs at 667, so I think this Kingston is only 667. But it is showing dual interlaced, so it's not too bad. So, alright. One more quick upgrade. I like how everything just comes, together, comes apart toolessly. Supposedly. Oh yeah, this gave me problems last time. Alright. Don't want to pull it up by the wires, but alright, so here's the hard drive. This is an old slow original SATA. Now, in another video, you might have saw this. 
No, it really is not a 240 gig SSD. I wish. But it did, however, have this bracket. So. Ah. so. That bracket does not fit quite right in here. But it looks like it fits enough. Let's see if I can get it in that hole. If I can, then that will be enough. There we go. Alright, it doesn't quite fit right, but because it should be all the way up here to these holes. But that's secure enough, especially since this system is not going to... Well, this system may move around some, but not, not enough that's... Not while it's crawling. Ah, oh, crap. No. I almost muted Facebook Messenger before I started this, but I'm like, nah, nobody's messaged me in about an hour or more. Nobody's going to message me while I'm doing this. And look who was wrong. I really wish this didn't take there we go, like four hands to do. And I'm going to do something risky and hope that this system does not just go into meltdown mode if I, leave, if I try to install an OS. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start getting this uh, put together. Alright, you know what, let's just, where did I put that keyboard? Sorry. You should know I'm not professional. Let's make sure it sees every upgrade that we've done. So, let's see here. Shows a DVD drive. 320 gig hard drive and everything else. So let's uh, let's see one more thing on the screen. Uh, it just says Intel. Let's we'll see if it says Core 2 Quad or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting this together in uh, the editing software, and I'm going to go grab my flash drive and start installing Windows 8.1. I don't believe you guys need to see that, but we'll see if this thing goes into meltdown mode or not. You'll be one of the first to know. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to shut this down. Now, this works very well, kind of like how I assumed it would. But, uh, now it's not overheating, but it's definitely warm. I mean, I, was ex I wasn't expecting to even get Windows installed on it, to be honest with you. But, uh... Yeah, so it's actually working pretty darn good, and I want to keep it that way, so <clears throat> tomorrow, hopefully I can get some place where I can get at least some cheap processor grease, but uh, all in all, I'm very, very well impressed with this, and uh, the uh, processor itself is not hot, it's the uh, chipset, so that might just be because of uh, Windows 8.1, I might just put it back to 7, but uh, Hey, surprisingly, this dang thing is not catching fire, and it actually works quite well. So, uh, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.